And honestly, only on this channel. What, what shambles have we cooked up today? So, hello there everyone and welcome. It is Niren here and today it is time for me to welcome you to, well, honestly, not really sure. We have put the team of the week onto career mode. The ultimate team, team of the week, is on career mode. It is on career mode. We've got the kits, we've got the badge apart from next to our manager name for some reason. And we're going to be playing a game with this team, with this kit and all that jazz and then seeing how it does across the course of a Premier League season. To be honest with you, I've got no idea when this video is going live. This might be a slightly outdated team of the week, but it's probably, if it's not the one from this week, it's the one from last week. We've got a 90 rated Raheem Sterling, we've got an 86 rated Ben Yedder and Belotti, 89 James Rodriguez. It's the ratings they've all been given on their inform cards rather than the actual ratings they have. Same with all the stats and all of that jazz. And again, as I mentioned, we've got the badge apart from again in, in a couple of places. So on the right hand side, it's still the Liverpool badge. I don't know why that is. But in the most important places, it is the team of the week badge that you get. And the kit is going to be applied to all of the players. Do I know how this has been done? Absolutely not. But I can tell you the person who did manage to do it. And that's Spy for FIFA. Once again, helping me out with a squad file on this one. You can subscribe to his channel down in the description below. Or with the card in the top right of the screen. Make sure to go and check him out. Because he's been helping me a lot with these cheat engine experiments over the last couple of months. Especially this one. I don't even know. I don't even begin to know how this has occurred. As you can see on the squad hub, everyone has actually like got the right kits. This is unbelievable. It's the actual team of the week kit. This is amazing. This is brilliant. I love it. I'm, I'm actually a really big fan of this one. So, I mean, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, having said that, there's apparently there's no club competitions any of these people are going to be playing in. So, I don't know what's going on there. Regardless, you can see all their financial information. Attributes obviously have changed a bit because it depends on what their ratings were. We have got a game coming up. So, if the Premier League season is glitched out, then at least we can play this uh, pre-season friendly. If we look at the calendar though, you can see we've already faced PSG, Atletico and Bayern. We have got the Premier League season. As you can see, we're entered in it as TOTW. There's no more Liverpool. I'm sorry, but that is so weird to see. That looks really odd, doesn't it? But yeah, anyway, on the calendar, you can see yeah, team of the week. We've got all the Premier League games, so we should be playing. I don't know why on the squad hub it says that we haven't got any games. I guess what do we do? Do we play a game and hope that it will? Oh, we even got the away kit. We'll, we'll use that. We'll use the home kit because that's the one that everybody knows. But we've got the away kit as well. All right, let's get amongst it, my G's. We've even got the ultimate team badge on the uh, actual stadium thing. It still says Liverpool though on the graphic. Honestly, the things we do on this channel really does it does it make any sense? No, not at all. There's Ben Yedder with his flipping ultimate team kit on in career mode. Are there any boundaries left anymore at this point? Do we have the? We've got the Juventus little flag there. Do we have one for the team of the week? Yes, we do. And we get underway in our glorious team of the week kit. What do we, why do we consistently do this? Cristiano Ronaldo already trying to get amongst it, getting on the ball a lot. He really just doesn't know the meaning of no. With Sam Ben Yedder, he's got runners ahead of him. He goes for the shot instead and forces a good save. And a void checks. That's not even, that's not Chesney. Never mind. We're playing career mode with one of the most fundamental parts of ultimate Ultimate team. You know what would be great? Playing as hashtag United on career mode. That would be so sick. Let's flip and make it happen, boys. Pfeiffer, I'm sorry. I know you're watching. I'm creating more work for you. It must be weird for Ronaldo seeing these events happening in front of him. He's playing against the designated FIFA 19 team. He used to be the face of FIFA 19. And then, you know, he got himself into trouble. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, I mean, I'm going to get myself into legal issues on this channel eventually. I really need to stop myself. We've got a Mexican way from the team of the week fans. I love how it's even got their kits in the crowd. I've never seen that in my life. The, the Juventus fans are doing it now as well as the corners being taken. Is this new? Disgusting touch there from Julian Brandt and we can start an attack here with Sterling. Oh, Sterling's been absolutely creamed. It's just it's just blatant assault there from De Celio. Clearly not the only lawbreaker at Juventus. And I, no, I'm so I didn't mean it like out wide here is Rahim. Sterling with space inside for Ben Yedda and we've scored the first goal with the team of the week side. I think it's, it's not Ben Yedda. <laughs> it simply isn't. James Rodriguez, my mistake, has given us the lead inside 42 minutes. The team of the week fans go mental. It was a nice little attack. Sterling making it happen. Lovely weighted ball into Rodriguez and first time James slots it past the keeper. You know, you know it must be stressful being a fan of team of the week. Being 
the manager, actually, of Team of the Week. You've got to change the side every single calendar week. Could you actually imagine if this team existed in real life? Like, every single week, they'd have to change their players to the best performing team in real life. Was that necessary? Probably not. At the end of the day, you're losing 1-0. How have you got the cheat to start bringing that out? Raheem Sterling. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being funny. The fans are still doing the Mexican wave. Do you not think they're a little bit bored by now? If not bored, just tired, maybe. They've been getting up and down for flipping ages. Have a rest. You know, the players aren't gonna mind if you stop Mexican waving for 20 minutes. It's all calm. This, though, is into Julian Brandt blocked again. Juventus are living life on the edge. Ben Yedder, long range. Brandt, this is James Rodriguez, long range. Saved by the goalie. Biglia puts it in it's towards James. It'll come to Ben Yedda off the line. Are you mental? There we are. The final whistle blows. Team of the week have beaten Juventus. An ultimate team team has won against a career mode team. All I know is this team is the best team in the world until it has to change all of its players next week. Anyway, we're now going to sim to the end of the season. I want to see how this team of the week side does in a Premier League campaign. We're also in the Europa League as well, so I'll check how we do on that front. It's the end of the season and the team of team of the week has finished second in the Premier League. Way too many draws in the end is what lost us the league. Spurs won it by 12 points, but we drew so many times compared to them. We only lost six times, same as Spurs, but then we drew 12, which is stupid. We still finished second in the league, though. We've got some good players. I think Raheem Sterling's 92 rated at this point. Let me just scroll across and have a little check, but yeah, 92 rated, 89 hammer is Rodriguez, 88 Nicolas Pepe as well. The squad is pretty stacked, so I'm surprised of all the teams Spurs have beaten us. Anyway, it is what it is. Spurs have won the league. We came second. United third. City, of course, without Raheem Sterling finished in fourth. Then Chelsea fifth. Everton sixth. Southampton. Arsenal without Burn Leno, because he's in our team, finished in eighth place. Then West Ham and Bournemouth. And down towards the bottom, we got Fulham, Cardiff, and Newcastle going down. Spurs won the FA Cup as well by beating Derby County 2-0 in the final. I don't know whether where we were present. We went out early. We went out against Watford in round number four. Beautiful. We did fare a lot better in the Carabao Cup, but we were beaten at the final hurdle by Manchester United 2-1. And over in the Europa League, it was Hoffenheim who beat Leverkusen. We were in this competition, so I don't know where we departed. In the round of 16 is the answer to that question. We lost 3-0 at home. That is quite a lot to lose by at home, so I'm just wondering if we had to forfeit that one. Anyway, stats-wise, let's take a look at everything. Uh, Pepe and Lucas Bilia played the most games out of anyone, 59 in total. Then Nico Elvedi with 57, James Rodriguez with 51, Bern Leno and Jakub Blazakowski. Goals wise, James Rodriguez scored the most interestingly, more than both of the strikers. 20 for him, 19 as well for Julian Brandt, then 14 for Bolotti in all competitions, 10 for Hans Van Aken and 5 for Jamie Vardy. Interestingly, Wissam Ben Yedda didn't actually play that many games despite being 86 rated, he only played 15 and scored 3. And then most assists came from the Belgian Hans Van Aken. Again, the attacking mid had a really fruitful season. 16 assists for him. 10 for James Rodriguez. Let's see how that all stacks up against the rest of the league. Eden Hazard scored 26. 11 more than anyone else. Harry Kane with 15. Then Raul Jimenez as well with 14. The best team of the week player was James Rodriguez with 13. Same for Julian Brandt. Interestingly enough, it doesn't say TOTW like it says on the table. And it also still has the Liverpool badge. But if we back out and see it on here, it has the foot 19 badge next to James Rodriguez, so I don't know what's going on there. Regardless, in terms of assists, Hans Van Aken at least gets the golden whatever represents that. He got 10 along with Hazard and Lamina. Rodriguez as well, once again, present with 8 for the team of the week side and they're the only two in the top 25. Clean sheets wise, Bern Leno did alright. Managed to get himself 9, but doesn't compare with Hugo Lloris, who got 13 in just 22 matches as well. Anyway, I reckon that's about it for today's video using the ultimate team, team of the week in FIFA 19 career mode. No, no. If there's any more similar videos you want to see where there's like a kit or a team that's on ultimate team but isn't in career mode, then let me know down in the comment section below and we'll try and make that one happen. Once again, this video is solely down to FIFA FIFA. You can check his link out down in the description below. He's got a YouTube channel and a website where he puts all sorts of tutorials on for the cheat engine, which if you didn't know this video was using, then I mean, you know now, but I'm sure most of you guessed. But if you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new 
to the channel. You can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>